The life of an enthusiast commuter on two wheels in India is a pretty tough one. You want a bike that's exciting and exhilarating, but you also want it to comfortably take you home after a long day. You want it to be rewarding in the corners, but you also want it to be forgiving for your amateur behavior. And there are very few bikes in this country that can actually provide that sheer versatility. One of them being this, the Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. I think this is so versatile that this is my steed of choice to go to the office every single day. Well, I am in Goa and this is not my bike, but I'm getting pretty bored of my bike and I wanted to spice things up. So I called my friend Emmy from Code 6 Goa and he said that he's got a little something for my divine inspiration. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Drivers Hub. This is a Stage 2 Interceptor 650 and I'm here to tell you all about it. The Interceptor 650 comes with this 648cc parallel twin engine which is the creme de la creme of the Royal Enfield lineup. This comes with 45 bhp and 53 newton meters of torque in its stock form and it also has these beautiful elegant and sleek two into two exhaust coming out flowing all the way to the rear now this bike comes with a couple of differences and a couple means quite literally two it has an air filter that is now from bmc which is a cotton air filter instead of a paper one so it can take much more air and it's much easier to maintain You've also got a stage 2 bracket, so that means you've got much more air that goes into that set filter and you've got these beautiful AEW India exhaust systems. These are slip-on exhausts that remove an astonishing 7 kgs of weight off of the overall weight of the bike and it's very noticeable. So the first thing you should do from your bike is actually start removing weight and the exhaust is the perfect place to start from if you have an Interceptor 650. Now the aforementioned exhaust and air filter are well and good but what if I told you that you're actually removing performance out of your bike by just putting the exhaust and the air filter and not tuning your bike. This is the ECU of the Interceptor 650 and just like any car you've seen on our channel you can actually remove this ECU bench tune it and put it back so that's exactly what's been done to this bike code 6 has bench tuned this ecu and now you can actually enjoy all the power that the bike can produce with the amount of air that's going in and better fueling if you do not put a tune on your bike and you have an air filter and an exhaust your bike is actually going to be running lean because it's going to be using much more air but much less fuel but that can be very well solved with this stage 2 pops and bangs tune from code 6. When it comes to the Interceptor 650 being a blank canvas to your absolute uh, dream mods, well, this bike is fantastic for that. The block is super tolerant and it's been designed to be bigger later on. So this can be very easily bored out to up to 865 cc and that can produce, I don't know, 70 to 80 bhp as far as we've seen in Australia. And you can also go as far as cutting the subframe, you can get Olin shocks, there is so many exhausts that you can get for the Interceptor 650, you can get spark plugs, high lift cams and this specific bike can just be turned into whatever you want. You can change the handlebars, the suspension oil, everything. Everything in this bike has been designed for you to customize it. Royal Enfield has done a fantastic job in giving you a pretty good canvas from the beginning. And when we talk ergonomics, the Interceptor 650 is pretty spot on apart from a couple of really annoying places personally. So the front is nice and upright so you can very comfortably ride in the middle of uh, traffic and you can really maneuver very well if you get used to the amount of top heavy weight that this bike has. The teardrop shaped tank is very easily huggable with your legs but the problem that I've got is the positioning of the foot pegs and the footrest. The footrest when you are sitting in traffic is exactly in between your calf and your shin. So 
all that you do most of the time is move your leg back and forth and what you're going to be getting is a bruised shin the only thing that i don't mind from the foot pegs is when you're actually riding this position is so comfortable and it has genuinely no stress on my hips that's my perfect position and that's why i love riding this bike The 48cc Millennium Interceptor has always been a robust and pretty potent block, but nothing could prepare me for the absolute ball I had listening to the pops and bangs while cruising along the highways of Goa. Coming to the newfound power with this Code 6 ECU tune, the most noticeable difference is the way that the bike revs now. The torque surge is relentless throughout the rev range, making it feel like a more rev happy engine compared to the stock setup. The fueling felt great during gentle rolls of the throttle and while gently decelerating the pops and bangs from the exhaust never missed a chance to make me giggle. The difference might not seem massive but it is definitely noticeable that this Code 6 remap has really changed the way this block behaves. Now. Imagine you just took delivery of your Interceptor 650 or you have one in your garage and you've decided to get it modified and don't know what to do or even how much it would cost. Well, fret not my friend, I've got the price breakdown. The air filter can cost you anywhere between 6 to 7,000 rupees. The AEW exhaust costs 15,000 rupees. And to tie it all up, the pops and bangs tune by Code 6 costs 20,000 rupees, making the build cost a total of 42,000 rupees. The setup gives you a very powerful bike, but it's a pretty friendly one too. And you will easily be able to adapt to the power gains of the bike without any troubles. The Interceptor 650 is a pretty fun and premium bike in its stock form itself. But this in its stage 2 setup with its burbly exhaust sound and newfound torque has got that new level of zinc to it and it's turned it all the way up to 11. I am absolutely in love with this bike and I can't wait to build my own. Would you guys be willing to see that build on our channel? Do leave a like if you do. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to never miss out on any single video that we do. And of course, stay riding. See you guys.